Merci. Right now we're in a forest, very old, very large forest in the south of France. We're busy foraging because it's mushroom season. I don't think that we're gonna have any huge luck late in the season and it's also four o'clock in the afternoon. And you put them in a wicker basket so that the spores can trickle through as you're walking. So you're replanting the mushrooms. Isn't that amazing? When you see a river and a bridge, what you need to do is find a stick, find a friend, and play poo sticks. Poo -sticks. You each take a stick, throw it over the bridge, and the first stick to come out the other side of the bridge is your winner. One, two, two three. three. No. Fourth rule of poo sticks, make sure that there's no grate under the bridge so that your stick can actually come out the other side. We have yet to, fi we have yet to find any edible ones, so we are going to slowly start heading back. Point of interest, if you take your mushrooms to the pharmacist here in France, they can tell you if the mushrooms are poisonous or if they're edible. such a, you know, it's a hot spot, but like, I am surprised. It's filled with people. My fellow wine lovers have come home. Ready Player One. The stacks, like Lego pieces or batteries, and just put them on one another. It's the coolest and weirdest thing. The material is quite interesting. It's like almost this fiber. Sorry, sorry. It's almost like this fiberglass material. It's very soft. But it's this ordered chaos of graffiti and no graffiti. I feel subconsciously like there is control.
with some border wine in our hotel room. It was a lot of fun. It's definitely not the last. Still have to get to those actual vineyards. Good night and bonsoir. Shrink. We're in Cor sur Ciel right now. This is an 800 year old town, but check that out. And it looks like a Universal Studios set. Perfect cobblestone roads, walls are intact. It's pretty special, pretty unique. Voted the best village of France in 2014. Fact. We just paid three euros to take a little tram up, which I recommend. Otherwise, you can walk and it's about a 20 minute walk. So, either way is good. It depends just on your timing, your money situation, and your fitness. Lots of artisanal shops here. They are owned by the people who live in them, which is pretty cool. They, a lot of them were bought about 30 years ago. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? I've walked like five steps. Number one, you're gonna get a lot of history here. There are houses all over that date back to the 12th century and they're intact. Not just museums, but they're being lived in. Car. Number two, you have cultivars that you'll only find here. Here, Procol, Duras, Londeloy, and Mozac. And this one behind me is Procol. Number three, it is an absolutely gorgeous surrounding. And number four, the prices. And number four, the prices are very friendly. So this all adds up to a very fine time. Okay. This is the experience I was wanting. Yeah. Or do we have to get in the truck? Yeah. Thanks, Chad. Awesome. You know it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that chateau is from the 13th century. <laughs> <laughs> also, so they were like rivals. Good time. Good. 